People look at me and they think, you're healthy, you're young, but if they only knew my story. I have been fortunate enough to go to college, graduate, travel the world, and contribute to society by working with children and their families. I have never felt that I could not accomplish something or have to put my life on hold for my health until now. Over the past year, my kidney's function has deteriorated. The doctors tell me it is nothing that I have done, but it is just time. Right now, I know that I need to have a transplant, but I try to live my life as if I'm normal. My family figured out I had kidney disease at a very young age, but I grew up pretty normal. Didn't have any symptoms that we could see, and I lived a pretty normal childhood. It wasn't until I went to college where I actually first started noticing signs. You know, I've had these little episodes, not this bad of an episode, but I had these episodes growing up, and my, my body would respond. Uh, it would bounce back. This time it didn't happen. I had to tell my family that I needed a kidney or I was gonna die. I was living this great, big, full, wonderful, adventurous life when all of a sudden it was brought down to an eight by six hospital room. On my last trip, I became ill. I knew I wasn't feeling well. I thought I just had the flu. By the time I got home, I came off the airplane in a wheelchair. I was taken immediately to the hospital. One night, my body crashed. Uh, I was dying. About that time, the doctors played their last Hail Mary play, and there I was, left with uh, some damaged tissue. I spent the next six months of my life having 24 surgeries, one a week. While they removed 40% of the tissue on my body, it was replaced with donated tissue. I was blessed that there was a loving and caring family willing to donate their son's 25-year-old heart. I finally made contact with my donor family. After dinner and hours of talking with my donor's sister, a registered nurse, she asked me if she could feel my pulse. I said, let me get a stethoscope. She had tears in her eyes and placed it on my heart. For the longest time, she listened to her brother's heart. We all cried. Alexi was born with beautiful blue eyes. She was born cortically blind, which meant her sparkling blue eyes were perfect, yet her brain could not see. Alexi's death at 22 months of age was a huge loss for our family. No parent wants to make the decision that your child be a donor. Our decision for organ and tissue donation brought a sense of peace and comfort in the midst of sadness. One day, I received a letter with a return address, which I knew it was from a recipient. The letter sat in front of me the rest of the afternoon. I waited because it made Alexi's loss more real. Then I sat and opened the letter, and just as I thought, it made me cry. What surprised me, however, was that tears were tears of joy. In meticulous and beautiful cursive script was a letter from Tommy. He wrote, Thank you for the blessing your family gave me by giving me back my eyesight. I am touched to know that Alexi, with her gorgeous blue eyes, our blind daughter, helped this young man see again. Knowing Alexi helped other children and their families helped us bear her loss. Our hero became a hero for others. I am grateful on a daily basis for those donors who made the generous gift of life to me. I will never be able to meet them. I will never thank them. I will never look them in the eye. But on a daily basis, I am grateful. My donor is pretty special. He was already my best friend. The fact that he was willing to be so selfless, it's so humbling. It brought tears to my eyes. Travis's selfless act basically gave me an opportunity to look towards the future and have hopes and dreams again, things I never would have imagined I'd be able to do until he donated his kidney to me. I think people are shocked to find out that there are so many people on the transplant list because they don't know someone personally who is waiting for a transplant. It's terrifying to know that there are not enough donors to meet not only my need, but others as well. I'm petrified of how long that waiting list is, and it's scary. 
More than 123,000 men, women, and children are awaiting organ transplants to save their lives. Thousands more are in need of tissue and cornea transplants to restore their mobility or sight. You can help end their wait by supporting Donate Life Northwest. 